This is question 13 from paper 1 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. Rockets fired into the air and we're given a graph showing its height after a certain time has elapsed. Uh, so it's fired here, height 0, and then it reaches a, a maximum height and then it falls back down to height 0 again at some time t. The question says, after how many seconds will the rocket first be at a height of 60 metres? So presumably somewhere uh, there's a height of 60 metres, say it's at around there, it equals 60. So it gains height and it passes through a height of 60 metres to a maximum height and then as it falls down it passes through that height of 60 metres again. So we would expect two values for the time when it reaches a height of 60 metres. So our first task then is to solve when is the height equal to 60, knowing that the height is given by 16t minus t squared. So we have to find the values of t that make 16t minus t squared equal 60. Well, this looks very much like a quadratic equation. There's a negative t squared, there's a 16t, and if we subtract 60 from both sides, um, we do get a quadratic. Now, it's almost impossible to factorise quadratics when there's a negative in there. It gets very difficult. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1 so that we get t squared minus 16 t plus 60 equals 0. And the usual approach to this is to try and get a couple of factors that multiply together to give us t squared minus 16 t plus 60. So our first terms would be t and t and the 60 6 and 10, certainly we can combine 6 and 10 to get a 16. So let's try 6 and 10. 6 tens are 60. But to get a minus 16t, we'd have to have a minus 6t and another minus 10t. That'll give us a minus 16t. Let's check that the last two terms multiplied together do give us positive 60. And they do. Negative 6 times negative 10 gives us plus 60. Remember always to check using firsts, outsides, insides, lasts. Check by multiplying out these two brackets to make sure you do get this uh, quadratic. So we've certainly we've factorised this successfully. This times this is zero. So the first factor could be zero or the second factor could be zero. If the first factor was zero, then t would be six. The second factor was zero would be 10. So it looks like we're getting sensible answers in that six seconds after this rocket was fired it's reached a height of 60 and then after it's reached its maximum it passes down through this height of 60 meters after 10 seconds. So there we go t is 6. It asks when will it first be at a height of 60 meters. It will first just to make sure we know what we're doing, it will say it in a sentence. It will first be at 60 metres after 6 seconds. So there's our answer to part A. So let's have a look at part B. I'm going to rub that out so that we can see part B properly. Will the rocket reach a height of 70 metres justify an answer? So, this diagram is symmetrical. By symmetry, we know that the maximum height will be reached halfway between 6 seconds and 10 seconds. That's 8 seconds. So the reason is from the working out that we did, first of all, that the height t is equal to 60 when t equals 6 or 10. t 
equals halfway between these is 8 for maximum height. So having established that, we now need to work out what this maximum height is. So we have a formula for the height and we need to substitute t equals 8 into that formula. So 16 times 8 minus 8 squared. So this is 128 minus 64, which gives us 64 metres. Now the question says, will the rocket reach a height of 70 metres? The answer is no. And we must give a reason for that. Uh, the rocket does not reach 70 metres as this is greater than its maximum height of 64 metres.